as I was saying about about the company, you know, he he knows where his trucks is at at all times. He he knows he he knows how how long you've been sitting. He knows the routes that you take. He knows the he 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 pretty much you there's nowhere that you can go in this truck without him knowing where you went. He could tell you when you if you did he could tell you when you did donuts. He could tell you when you did a U-turn. He could tell you when you he could tell you when you burned out. If you if you burned out the truck, he could tell you how fast you was going. But any company could tell you how fast you could. It, yeah, so yeah, so he could tell you where his truck is at. He can he can satellite your shit. Like go on the satellite system and zoom down and tell you exactly where you at what parking spot you in what parking spot you in what truck stop you in he can even tell you if you in the reserve parking spot that that's how that that's how that that's how my guy knows about his stuff so coming over here you you're gonna have to be on your grind. You you can't you you can't be one of those drivers that oh okay I'm I'm gonna take a I'm gonna take a 30, I'm gonna take a 45, I'm gonna take a, a, a hour break. No, it don't work like that. Because he'll tell you, he'll tell you things like, look, you wasted time, you wasted 40 minutes at this truck stop, you wasted an hour at this truck stop. You wasted an hour at this truck stop. And with all those hours combined, that's a total of three hours that you could have utilized into getting to your delivery and or pickup on time. So there's no reason. In other words, there's no reason for you to be late if you properly trip plan and utilize your clock that's how it is over here is that that's how it is over here the, the only way that he went again with this company right here which i had to get used to real quick is that when you get up in the morning after you pre-trip he wants you on the road he wants you running Ain't, ain't no day, you know, you, you can go ahead and get your shower in and all like that. Again, like I said before, I did a video on this before. And I was saying that the 10 hour, the, the 11 hour drive time, the 11 hour drive time is yours. I mean, it's theirs. That's what they want you to do. They want you to drive out that drive clock. Like drive it out like if you have three hours left and you'd be like oh okay well i'll just go in here and rest up for those no 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 why why not just go ahead and drive those three hours out <laughs> so you can get a little bit closer to your destination or your pickup <laughs> so that's that's the type of that's that's the type of company this is and the type of driver that they're looking for you know so if you come over if you come over with that lackadaisical that that lackadaisical oh i you know oh i can just do eight hours a day yeah get to it when i get to it i can do this i can just drive my eight hours a day and and all like that type of mentality it's not going to work over here. It's it's not going to work over here. The the company another thing about this company, he'll pay you good. He really will. He he he'll he'll pay you good. He'll he'll pay you good. You know, he, he only asking for 
a year. You know what I'm saying? He only asking for a year of experience. When you start, you you could start you you could start anywhere, you know, anywhere with a good amount. He'll make sure that if he'll make sure that he'll he'll make sure the miles is there for you. There's no there's no short there's no shortage of miles over here. <laughs> I'm I'm just gonna be I'm just gonna be honest. There, there's no shortage of miles over here. The dude not only runs uh regional, but he runs all 48 states. So he go to California, he go to Washington State, he go to New Hampshire, Boston, Maine, up in the up in the corners. He does all he does all of that. So there's there's no shortage of of miles over here. He will pay you good, but you're going to have to work. He he inspects a level of professionality over here. He inspects you to be that 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 professional truck driver he inspects that he inspects he inspects profession that's 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 what he inspects over here and if you come over here if you come over here with that lackadaisical attitude that that i can do what i want to do attitude that 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 I'll drive when I want to attitude it's it's not going to work it's it's not going to work over here and again I had to get when I first started because like I said I came you know like I said I came from a company that wasn't giving me the miles I was doing a I was doing a lot of sitting you know I was I, you know I had that I had that attitude at one time. Okay, I'll I'll just drive out my miles and and then whatever whatever's left, I'll I'll just chill and all like that. Nah, all all that all that change over here. Not only that he not only not only that he's looking for grinders, but he also looking for safe drivers as well. You know because he. He had a couple of he had a couple of missteps along the way. <laughs> yeah, he yeah, he had a couple of he had a couple of missteps along the way. Uh yeah, a lot of drivers, you know, a lot of drivers got into their feelings because of the way that he wants that he wants that he wants to run, you know, that he that he wants that he wants run. You know, he's strict. He's strict very much he cares about his equipment you know he 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 pays a lot of money he pays a lot of money to keep his equipment up and he inspects you to keep the equipment up there's reasons why i don't promote you know i don't promote the company and that's not that's not one of the reasons why but you know the reasons i don't promote the company is because i don't want people to know who i work for you know what I'm saying? That could be a whole can of worms that I don't want open. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, people harassing and people want to know. People want to know well, who who do you drive for? Or do they hire? Nah, nah. If if you don't have if you don't have the work if you don't have the work ethic, then no, you 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 you, you shouldn't apply. And plus, you making. Plus, you're making me look bad because I referred you. <laughs> so, I, I don't, I, I don't want none of the smoke. <laughs> exactly. I, yeah, I, I, I don't want none of the smoke. You know, some, you know, you, 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 you might, you know, you come in and the company is not uh, to your standards, or you not to the company standards, and all like that. He'll quit to get rid of you. Like, yo, you gotta go. We, no, thank you. <laughs> it, it, it's just, it's just, it's just not going to work. 
So, and then I come back into the office and he'll be like, yo, lockout, uh, that, that guy just didn't work out. You know, maybe we need to vet uh, people a little bit better. And I, I don't want to be, I, I don't want that, huh? Oh, it happened. It, it happened to me plenty of times when I was at JNR Swoogle. I, I was now JNR Swoogle. I, I was promoting them like crazy. I mean, again, I was the one that put them on the social media map. So, <coughs> but um, but it was a lot of drive. You know, I I yeah yeah yeah. I I, I brought a lot of drivers on. I was bringing in maybe about five sits about five to ten drivers a week you figure a great you figure you figure fifteen hundred dollars a pop on ten drivers a week yeah 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 it was fit yeah it was fifteen hundred dollars a pop per driver so i was bringing in about ten of the motherfuckers a week months straight you know what i'm saying but a couple of them came in, you know, they didn't like the standards of the company and some of them didn't stay for various reasons. They'll, they'll reach out to me and be like, man, lock out. I didn't know the truck that you got, that you get, didn't have, uh, didn't have doors on there. Like for real, yo, like, let me get this straight. You, you, you don't like the company because they don't have no doors. Are you serious? You can't be serious right now. Like, like the cabinet door, the cabinet doors is a deal breaker for you for driving for that company. Oh, okay. Make, make it make sense. <laughs> I, I don't, I don't see it. I mean, hell, I mean, I just put my stuff up in there. But see, here's the thing with me. I don't have that much shit in my damn truck to justify having doors on the cabinets anyway. <laughs> so. <clears throat> so it didn't bother. Right. It didn't bother me. <laughs> it didn't bother me. I had all my stuff in my gold bag, book bag, and my, and, and my hygiene bag. That was it. I, I learned from U.S. Express not to have all that shit on my truck no more. Exactly. You exactly right. When it's time to leave or get fired or get terminated and you don't and, and they be like, yeah, we, we want that stuff off your truck now and we'll give you a $50. We give you $50 for a bus ticket. And all that shit can't fit on the damn bus, bro. You got to pack all that shit up. And you got to pack that shit up in a box. And then you got to tell them to ship your shit to the house. The fuck? I mean, I mean, when I was out, when, when I was with U.S. Express and they told me that, I, I was literally stranded for, for a hot minute. Couldn't get, you know, at, at the time, at the time, I, I didn't know how I was going to get home. But my rock came through for me. He was like, yo, dad, you got that credit card I gave you? I was like, yeah. I, I said, I got it. He was like, listen, let me go on here and put some money on it. Uh, Put about $300 on it and you can go and rent a car. Get, went up to the uh, where the I went up to the airport. He put that money on it. I was able to rent a car, and I got home, man. That's why I was telling people. That's why I was telling people you need you you you, you need that credit card. And a lot of people like, well, I, I got bad credit. Well, there's credit card companies for bad credit people. You know, they they'll at least give you about three hundred to five hundred dollars. So yeah, man. That's what I'm saying, you know, the, you know, luckily the, the company that I drive for is, it's, it's a pretty, it's a pretty good company. Ain't, ain't nothing wrong. 
ain't nothing wrong with this company. It's just the fact that the the company owner, you know, he is strict. You no doubt about that. He is strict. And exactly. And he's and he, and he pays you good. Right. He pays you. Yeah. He pays you. He pays you good. He pays you good. But by him paying you good, he wants you to run. Yeah, he wants you to he wants you to he wants you to run. Pretty much. If he can't if he can't do that for him, he don't want to have nothing to do with you. Keep it moving. I'm like Beethoven with the bass on it. Me, class kids, will went pop. Death to the hater won't stop. Let's talk key scales, it won't drop. You don't even need a scale to know I'm on top. Me and Mozart could bars, you got pops. Urge right and Tiffany, a whole symphony. You a symptom, me, but go off. Or make a masterpiece for you, or at least it's gonna hit like rump, bump, bump. Y'all fit to me like the symphony. Your career's done, done, done.